Okay? And once I see it on me, then I'll be good. Alright. What I'm doing is I'm finding my common start area. Here's my start line. From this start line here, I'm going to set up my area. Select ground scan, do a scan, set my parameters, push start scan. On the my hand on the OK button ready to go. I'm going to take a little extra slack off of the table here. Set up my, set myself up. Make sure I'm not too high. I'm not too low. I want to be about that height. Okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the OK button and I'm going to start walking. I'm going to walk straight, keeping my same height above the ground. I'm going to pay attention to where I'm walking. When I come to the end of my scan line, I'm going to push the OK button again. Now I have my line. Here's my stop line. So my goal is to hit the same line. Okay, back to my start line. Start line. So now I'm going to come over here, push the OK button, start walking again. Watching for the height of the detector. I don't want to be too high. I don't want to be too low. I don't want to be too fast. I want to have the same speed. Okay, here's my stopping point again, right on the mark. Okay, start again. And I do the next row. To make sure that I keep the same speed. Very important because if I go too fast, I'll break my target off. I'm going to continue the scan going grid by grid all the way across the line. As I do these grids, I'm going to be able to set and see my target in real time on the screen. My stop line again. And the main thing with this equipment is to make sure that you're traveling the same speed. If you don't move the same speed, then your target can actually get broken up. There's my stop line again. Target initially in the glass, continue on and complete your grid. The reason you're going to complete your grid is so that when you are done, you will have a complete picture of the target, not just a part of it. Because if you only have part of the target, you can't see the target. You don't know how big it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this over now directly to the computer and we're going to show you how it looks like on the computer. So when I'm done, it says would you like to scan your Lex9 now? I'm going to select no. Would you like to save it? After pushing OK, pushing OK again, saves the scan. Quickly, when I'm back in the ground scan menu, what I can do is I can say OK for ground scan. And then it's going to give me the option of new scan, browse scans, empty memory, or go back to the main menu. Push down the one time to go to browse scans. And then the last scan you did will be on the very top. And just push OK. Pushing OK again will say, do you want to view your scan, scan image? And then it'll automatically redraw. So that's how that is.